Hello friends, Sniz here, and today I'm showcasing a hard will run I did a few weeks back and wanted to commentate over it. I've been asked a few times how I personally play Kana during these bosses and thought I'd share some of my experience to hopefully help players get a better grip on what to do as a Kana in this boss. I may do other bosses as well later on, but for now we'll cover will. This isn't a guide to will. I already expect you to know basic will mechanics and we'll link a guide in the description for those who need it. My party composition in this fight was a Mercedes, Nightlord, Demon Avenger, Shadower, Bowmaster, and myself as a Kana. In addition, we all received Door before entering this boss to give us an extra life. Not shown in this video, but should be noted is charging Domain outside the boss room. Due to how Domain works, you'll keep the buff if you're warped out of the mount while standing in it when warped. This is appealing to us because it allows all party members to have the Domain buff in Will no matter what side they land up on. So. Upon entering, depending on who loads in first, I'm told who is with who to ensure a bind isn't wasted. The reason we do this is because the Demon Avenger and Bone Master aren't heavy enough first to secure a clean first segment of Phase 1. I only bind if I have either the Night Lord or Mercedes present on my side so the bind timer is used to its fullest potential. I could bind as long as I have a DPS on my side, but in past experiences my party gets the most benefit if it is either the Night Lord or Mercedes using the bind to burst. We don't have a bishop in this party, so we do have to have members on both sides to ensure we know which side is safe to be in during the test. My biggest tip to any Kana is to communicate with your party. Letting them know how close bind is essential knowledge to have. You don't want to seemingly use a bind randomly without them knowing ahead of time, as they'll waste time buffing during the bind just to use a portion of it. I try to stick to a simple rule of giving a 30 second, 10 second, and 5 second heads up before binding. This way my party can communicate with me before I bind if they need more time, or if I should hold off on binding, or even if they have a preference on which bind I should be using. This party prefers to have constant bind updates, so I alert them more often, but at the minimum a 30 second, 10 second, and 5 second heads up should be given. If you do use this method of alerting your party, do not wait for your party members to be ready to bind. Bind as soon as you have an opening to do so. If they're not fully buffed by the time, it's on them. You are doing your part to alert them ahead of time so they could take the necessary time to be ready to burst. How you use domain in phase one outside of the initial entry is largely dependent on your party. This party in particular doesn't need domain in any other portion of the boss since we would always choose to one, one, two the segments given the choice. Binded? I'll stay in here. Yeah, stay below. Barrier on Simi. Yeah. Alright, we got like 10 seconds. I right, start checking, start checking. Okay, got it. Alright, coming. Oh, he's pushing. Nice. Okay, I got the all. We're two segmenting this next section. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't have burst anymore. I use burst both times. Ah, okay, yeah. Then we're definitely two segmenting. I couldn't one seg if I wanted to. Uh, it's 40 seconds until small pines up. And we're gonna be in blue, most likely. Because so I, I think it's always blue, right? Yeah, it's always blue. 30 seconds to bind. I'm getting messaged by my best friend's older brother. Ah, uh, can't respond. Oh, Ooh. I framing that. All right, binding less than five. Uh, we're just gonna swap purple. Oh, uh, okay, swap purple, and then s bind this side? Uh, whatever. Oh, actually, no, I can't bind it for another 20 seconds. I can't bind it for another 20 seconds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we're gonna two seconds, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he? There he is. Heckin' nerd. 10 seconds. Look at him, he carries the book around. What a nerd. What the? You can't hate on books like that. I right, binding. Then did. Uh, the issue isn't the books. The issue is the person carrying the books. Barrier on right. You're letting He's see me. The book's okay. Oh, there's Simi. Yeah, it's on Simi then. Give me a book, you nerd. Okay, right, just leave. Is someone in blue? Claire. Yeah, I'm in blue. All right, perfect. Yeah. In five, uh, ten. Yeah, yeah, ten-ish. I'm just 
like vibing in blue. Just You're just vibing. <laughs> yeah, vibing. vibing. Alright, pay attention. Purple. I almost said blue. I know my colors. I think I'm to think of it too. That's why my reaction time was about the same as his. It's that I just did mess up. How is it? Oh, Rip Claire. I, I can small bind the other side since I'll have long bind up for next phase since I used it. Oh, he's like moonwalking on my screen. Not even here on my screen. Oh, he's just like right here on my screen. Oh, right, there he's mid. I swap. Okay, oh, perfect. I, I'm gonna bind once I can control myself again. Then did. I can't see it. Where's Sumi? Sumi's on the right. Barrier on Sumi. Is that I'm, in purple? I'm going back, purple. I'm in purple. Alright, yeah, we're both in purple, Alana and I. We got like a minute. Alright. Being able to auto buff Mihail's stance is ridiculously broken. <laughs> Sorry. I don't want to auto buff Mihail. Please. No, okay. I, I, I would. I want, I want to. Is it locked in place? Yeah, it does occasionally. It sometimes uh, locks up my ability to cast teleport. Should probably take it off and just manually cast it. I'll do that when. Oh, yeah. No, it's it doesn't matter that much. Yeah, I have so much buff duration. Get ready. Yep. Yeah. Ten seconds. Alright, pay attention. Oh, purple, purple, purple. He just NATO'd, so you should be good. Yeah. You got it? Alright, yeah, yep. they got it. Good. All right, once he clutch clenches his heart, I'm gonna start charging. Once he starts clutching his pearl. Yeah. Once he gets heartburn. Once he gets heartburn, exactly. Not enough books. Alright, quench your heart, you stupid idiot. You stupid nerd. The only other notable strategy in phase 1 is pre-charging domain at the end of segment 3. I wait until I see Will clutch his chest before dropping domain and charging it to ensure that we've actually cleared the segment. As mentioned prior, the domain buff will carry over maps as long as you are standing within the boundaries when warped. This gives me more freedom when entering phase 2 as I won't have to charge and bind. I can just simply bind upon entry after seeing my party members land. I play phase 2 very cautiously as a Kana. I plant my summons to try and gather as much moonlight as possible to ensure I have the ability to heal here when needed. When this run occurred, familiars were disabled and thus messing up tests was a very real possibility. Due to our party having a demon avenger, failing a test almost always causes her to lose another two lives just while waiting for the next test to occur. I highly recommend taking the explorer warrior link as it works through the heal lock in this room and will save your life at times. An always essential link in any boss is resistance, as 8 seconds of invincibility on respawn is crucial, especially if you spawn in during a test. Your only real job outside of bind timers in phase 2 is to keep track of when you finish a segment. When the test starts, the next test will appear within 2 minute intervals, provided you've either cleared the next segment or you failed the test. This information is crucial to know as you don't want your party members scrambling during the test. Your party should be prepared before the test starts and doing their best to avoid befuddlement and other attacks. This party prefers complete silence during the test to focus, but your party may encourage you to call out when to get hit or when to dodge. My party in particular just prefers silence. Speaking of clean, I actually managed to stack Freud for the first time in forever. Oh, no! No, rest in peace. I can bind in 30, but I'll hold it for burst, right? And I'm small binding, right? Alright, no, I guess not if you're bursting. We're big bursting this next one, right? I don't know. 
Okay, well, if you don't know, I don't know which bind to use. Uh. How are your cooldowns? Small bind. Small bind? Okay, I'm, I can bind in 10 or I can wait a bit longer. Um, I think we're gonna take a while for this one. Okay, just yeah. use. I, I'll small bind then once you revive. Ben At least the soul is grayed out. Are you gonna revive? Alright, binding. Bend it. Barrier on the left. Both green down. I'm gonna die anyways, but it's looking to be up, even if I die. Alright. We've, we've passed the threshold, so once it. Uh, once we clear the bar, it starts. Shit, I'm low. I'm at the edge of my edge of the left this one screen. Or whatever. I can't I can't English right now. It's okay. Left edge is a smart screen. Oh, oh here we go. Yes. Long bind is your burst buffs up, Merce? Mm -hmm. Okay. 30 seconds on burst? Okay. Uh, uh, I'll just charge. There we go. Phase 3, in my opinion, is the most difficult stage due to my personal issues with avoiding the white eyes attack or the attack that requires you to move. Because I know I'm not the best at avoiding white eyes, I wait until the first white eyes happens. I then try my best to avoid it. After the attack is passed, I immediately drop domain and start charging. This gives me peace of mind as the next attack won't require me to move, thus meaning I can sit still and finish charging domain. And even if Will attacks frequently enough to get another move or white eyes attack off, this means I'll be fully charged by that time and able to cast E form to avoid it, and thus be able to secure the bind with a fully charged domain. Again, giving your party the proper heads up before binding is super important and should never be neglected. Also, the only time you can miss binds in this phase is if you attempted to bind Will when he is attacking with either yellow or white eyes. You cannot hit him during those attack animations. A good way to know if you can bind him is to hit him with Shikigami once or twice to see if you can damage him. If you see damage numbers, then immediately bind. If you can hit him with any other attack, you can bind him. Close things up, dropping in now. It's in the middle. Mid. Move. Yeah. Move. I just ran to middle. <laughs> Poison on Merce. Just stay right. Just stay right. Yep. Stay. Next is move. Next is move. 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 Holy shit, that. Move. Oh my god, my damage. I'm about to say, like, poison that first bind already. was massive. <laughs> oh no, it's because I'm poisoned. Yeah, that too, you get double damage, I think, right? Yeah, poison me more. <laughs> move. Move, 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 move. <laughs> stay, stay, stay. Next is move. Next is move. Yeah, it's poison me. <laughs> Move. Oh, I almost oh, didn't see that. Yeah. Ah. ah! Stay, stay, stay. Next is move. Binds in 40. Move. Poison, poison on Sumi, I'm going oh. right. Oh, guys, it's on, it's on me. Aww. Stay. Stay. Next is move, next is move. Binds in 15. Move. Oh. Next is stay, next is stay. Close me up in 50 seconds. Bind in less than 5, oh, less no. than 5. It's probably dead, stay. Man. Binding. Binded. Barrier on Sumi. I don't. I think we'll kill it before next bind for sure, but I don't think we'll get it this bind. Yeah, definitely not this bind. 
It's gonna be random, because I'm bound. Move. I don't know how I survived that, but okay. 15 seconds. Poison left, poison left, poison left. Don't come near me, I'm okay. Stay, stay. Nice to move, nice to move. Five seconds, five seconds. Move. Move. Oh, uh, my life bar. You bumped me. Oh, I'm getting bumped. Okay, poison's over. Good, I didn't kill Fred. Alright, stay. Stay alive, everyone. We're almost out of here. Oh, okay, up the middle. Hold the middle, we need it. Move. Oh. Poison on me, oh. I'm left. It should be dead soon. Yeah. Very, Very soon. Stay. Stay. And complete. Nice. I got a Meister I cube. Lives. I have seven lives left. I'm improving. I had I eight, yeah. I did really well this run. <laughs> But I'm Kana, so I don't get to talk. Other than staying alive, you'll have the basic responsibilities of binding, casting domain, and cleansing webs. You'll rinse and repeat until you clear well. With all that said, that's about it. Hopefully this has been of some help to someone, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye